So you've said that a belief is just a thought you keep thinking. And I've almost come to conclude that if I think that I can fly and visualize over and over and over again, will that become a belief for me? And is that possible for human beings to fly? Well, you know, we can't have it both ways. We can't tell you that all things are possible and then say, except that. Assume. And we can't say that if your life experience gives you the detail that causes you to give birth to a desire, and if that happens and you find vibrational alignment with it, we can't say except for that and except for that and except for that. It has to be. So the answer is when a desire is within you and there is no contradiction in your vibration, then it must be. Assume. Whatever it is you are giving your attention to often dominates your vibration. And so it's easy to notice that you're not flying, no matter how much you want to fly. And as you notice that you're not flying, no matter how much you want to fly, you have to find a way of looking at it differently. It's so interesting how the perceived reality affects your experience so completely. It's not even reality. It's your perception of reality. Assume. And so what we're getting at is that it isn't, there is no reality that is responsible for your vibration. It's your perception of reality. It's the reason that we always say over here where the good feeling emotions are is your perception of freedom. And over here where the bad feeling emotions are is your perception of lack of freedom. It's your perception. And that's the thing that's tricky. Assume. There is this reality that you perceive that is hard for you to budge from. And it's the thing we would like to shake all of you loose from. We would like you to begin saying reality and even my perception of reality is not as important as my ability to focus where I would like to be. And it is such an interesting thing, isn't it? How your reality is based upon your perception and this whole workshop is about assume. Reality doesn't mean diddly squat, and now you're helping us to say, and your perception of reality is very easy to move. You ought to be able to move it in any direction, toward what is wanted or toward what is not wanted. People make misassumptions all the time. Why not make misassumptions about things you want? Why not begin to assume that you are much more powerful than your bank account implies? Or why not begin to assume, in other words, just realize how flexible assume. reality is? Yes. What you do is you assume. Stop questioning and doubting. You assume. You just assume. Just assume. Blindly. Blindly. Naively. Naively. Stupidly. Stupidly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you have to almost be so stupid with yourself. You just naive. Let's call it simple, uh, pure, whatever the word is. But you just assume that's what's happening. The moment that you just assume, then it is it becomes so. It's a little bit of a, um, a trick on yourself in a way, but it's an honest trick on yourself. Because otherwise, you keep thinking about it and stressing about it, and your body starts hurting and start wondering what you're doing wrong. And pretty soon, you just give up, which is actually about the best thing you can do. Why? Why do you want this? I want it because it will feel good in the having of it. I want it because it's fun to get my hands in the clay. I want it because I want to feel the power of me. I want it because I want to know that non-physical sources or forces are on my side. I want it because I want to know what's in my vortex. I want it because I know it's the natural consequence of my being alive here. I want it because I was born to manifest it. I want it because I'm supposed to be able to get, be and do and have whatever I want. I want it, all right? I want it. I want it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll see you.